Yeah. After watching this movie, I am for sure gonna go eat a very juicy cheeseburger. Reel it on in, reactors. I have yet another movie reaction for you guys for the channel here at Reel It In Reaction. And that movie is The Menu. I have never seen this movie. I have never seen a trailer for this movie. All that I know is that the genre for this movie is a horror and a thriller. Now, they just dropped this on HBO Max, so you guys can go watch this movie too as well and then come back and watch my reaction to this film. Or you can just watch the movie with me. That always works too. This movie stars Ray Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Nicholas Holt. Three good actors, so I'm expecting a very good film. Now, before we dive into this movie reaction, make sure you guys like this video and hit that subscribe button for more movie reactions just like the one you're about to watch here today. And also, turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any more Reel It In Reaction videos. The menu, it's time to Reel It In. Babe, please don't smoke, it'll kill your palate. Yes, smoking is bad. Tonight is huge, okay? The flavor profiles, it's all super delicate. When you smoke, you ruin your ability to be able to appreciate <laughs> it. Please. Throws away the smoke, pulls out a vape. <laughs> Go with the flow. Let it be magical. Hey, it's your dime. We got ourselves in a expensive date. Oh, she knows that guy. Lillian Bloom. Oh my God. That's my girl from Ozark. Please make yourselves comfortable for our short journey to Hawthorne Island. Thank you. Oh, ahoy! And I've asked me, Mark, you just hope she see where the A? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah. I know that actor. I cannot believe I forgot his name, but he plays Sid. I love him. Chef Sloak would like to welcome you with a raw local oyster and a mignonette emulsion. Beautiful, thank, thank you. you. It's one of his classics. That looks tasty. Alginate as in, um... As in algae. Right, yeah. Pond scum. <laughs> Delicious. Gotta take a picture for the gram before eating it. Super expensive, all done in one bite. Hawthorne Island. We are on our way. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Mr. Ledford and Miss Westerville? Sorry, yeah, no, that was, uh, it's not Miss Westerville, she has a change of plans, so Miss Westerville, can, this is Miss. I'm Margo. Hi, nice to meet you. Margo, I like that name. That was really awkward. I'm sorry. That was not. No, no. Fine. Don't worry about it. That was super awkward. We are harvesting scallops. You'll eat them tonight. Ooh, scallops. I have a feeling this movie is just going to make me even hungrier. We're starving! <laughs> Especially how this island obviously is surrounded by the sea. So you know the seafood's got to be good in this film. Here we are family. Each day starts at six with five hours of prep work. We harvest. We ferment, we liquefy, we spherify, we gel. Down to a, a T. Down to a T. Who lives there? So. Chef. Oh, can we see that? Even we are not allowed inside oh, Chef's cottage, Mr. Ledford. Not allowed to go in there. Not even the waiters, the cooks, none of that. Only the chef. Just makes you want to, you know, visit. Is that crack? <laughs> Miss Mills, Miss Mills, you will be sitting in Miss Westervelt's seat. Margot Mills. Please do not photograph our dishes. Chef strongly feels that the beauty in his creations lies in their ephemeral nature. Ah, you can't do that. You can't do that. What happens if you do take a picture? That's the real question. There he is. That's the chef. Me? Is he looking at me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that look looked absolutely. Ugh. Milk, snow, and charred lace. Thanks. Enjoy. Ah, oh, I 
like how they have it on the screen, the title of the food. Can you taste a little goat? It's right at the end, a little kid. She said milk. I really like how they have it detailed on the screen, so you know what they are eating. I'm starting to... Oh my god! Oh my god, dang! So what is it with this food thing? I don't know. It's like, you know how people idolize, you know, athletes and musicians and painters and stuff. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people are idiots. What they do, it doesn't matter. They play with inflatable balls and ukuleles and shit. Oh my god. Watched him explain the exact moment a green strawberry is perfectly unripe. Oh, he's a hardcore fan. That was beautifully put, Tyler. Stop, don't. No, I'm being no. serious. I think I'm um, starting to get it. I'm sorry. The food that they have, it would just leave me, you know. Even more hungry. <laughs> I mean, the portion is just so small. They treat this like art. Gotta respect that. They make it look pretty and nice just for them to eat it within seconds. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm Julian Slowick, and tonight it'll be our pleasure to feed you. I have to beg of you one thing. It's just one. Do not eat. Is he serious? What? Relish. Enjoy it. Consider every morsel that you place inside your mouth. Chew slowly. Our menu is too precious for that. And on that note, food. On your plate are plants from around the island, covered in barely frozen filtered seawater, which will flavor the dish as it melts. Oh my god. That's insane. What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside in nature. Man is falling in love with his words. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> oh my God. I find it all very moving. It's all so beautiful. I just, it's almost too beautiful to eat. <laughs> you know. Yo, stop taking pictures. They said don't take pictures. Really feeling this is quite... It's half great. It's there in moments. There in moments. There's a neediness to the plating, you know? I mean, it's been tweezered to f but the... <laughs> it's crazy. They're eating food on a rock. <laughs> Whatever, at least we can say we've been here, right? My dad used to say that you buy the experience. I mean, this looks like a... She's just, like, listening in on the conversation. Totally judging them, too, by the way. I want painting in five! Yes, chef! God dang! They sound like a football team. <laughs> oh man, that clap. Is he gonna keep doing that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how he grabs attention. A single clap. And how did Jesus teach us to pray if not to beg for our daily bread? It is and has always been the food of the common man. But you, my dear guests, are not the common man, and so tonight, you get no bread. Dang, no bread. I can serve bread at a restaurant known for their bread. That's sweet. What? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. That's crazy. <laughs> what? I demand bread! <laughs> Are you f***ing serious? <laughs> This emulsion does look slightly split. Yeah. Oh my god. Get this woman a magnifying glass. He's not just a chef, he's a he's a storyteller. And he doesn't give a f about the rules. Call me the girl next door, but maybe there are some rules that you should give a f about. Like, I don't know, giving food to people at a restaurant? I can tell. She's gonna check out sooner or later. Most likely sooner. Miss Bloom, mm -hmm. here is another broken emulsion. Courtesy of Chef Slowick. <laughs> the food's great, and we totally get all the conceptual stuff. But could but he we wants his bread. Get a little bread. Yeah, he wants his bread. No. No. You know who we are, right? I don't know who you are. You know we work with Doug Varick, right? Flip us a little bread, please. We won't tell a soul, lady. Yeah, these three are gonna cause a fuss. What? Without the bread in it, it really focuses you. It's so. Yeah. 
<laughs> I have such a weird feeling right now. Like an uneasy feeling. And it hasn't hit yet. I don't think I beat it. Oh! Oh, Ooh, that, that is relaxing. scary. I, did, I, <laughs> I expect Chef to, like, you know, go ballistic. You haven't touched your food. There, there is no food. No, no, this is food. I want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that, so <laughs> you won't fill up. The menu only makes sense if you eat. But you told us not to eat. That is not what I meant, madam. You know it. Well, thank you for your concern, but I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. <laughs> what, they going to force her to eat? The look on his face. Yeah. Tyler, the guy's a prick. Jeez, she said that really loud. Oh, she's staring again. Where do we know her? We don't. Oh, she really. Mm, I think you guys do know her. A memory. So let me tell you a memory of mine. When I was growing up, a child in Waterloo, Iowa, Tuesday was taco night. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> taco Tuesday. Yeah, I love Taco Tuesday. This is my mother. Oh. When I was seven years old, one Tuesday, my father came home quite drunk. My mother grew angry and screamed at him, at which point he proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. I wept. I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. Oh. oh I, I, I like that dark sense, sense of humor. He's such an intense dude. <laughs> he said he got a dark sense of humor. God dang, why'd he grab on his shoulder like that? House smoked breast chicken thigh, al pastor, and our own tortillas made with heirloom mast. It's uh, what you once said. Put you on the map. Put me on the map. Precisely what map would that be, I wonder. Anyways, because we're always innovating and we fear irrelevance. <laughs> Yo, they all got the same look that I got. The restaurants that I reviewed that all closed. I mean, they said they know, they know the customers. Tyler, is that you? Yeah, they're on me from tonight taking photos. Wow. Someone took pictures of him and then placed it on the tortilla. <laughs> Wait, um, guys, what the f <laughs> What is, is that bank statements? Mm. Bro, they lasered that on a tortilla! That's crazy. What are, what are these? These are tortillas, which contain Echo Bright's tax records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. How did you get these? I'm sorry, but Chef never reveals his recipe. What? Wow, well, this place close by the morning, do you understand? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. They just delivered their first threat? I wonder what's gonna happen to that guy. Well, how the hell should I know? It's faked. It's some sort of... Sort of just... Whoa! Is that him cheating? Pictured on a tortilla? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, hey, sir. Marga. Hi. Marga. Did you just snap at me? Oh, I've been trying to get a reservation here. You don't. No, and I don't really you care. Do not send shit back to this kitchen, you child. Oh my god. Right now, you cannot speak to me that way. Actually, I can because ding dong, I'm the one who's paying, so maybe shut up and eat. Whoa, Tyler. Tyler. This is incredible. You have to try this. No, thanks. Don't let me interrupt. What's behind that silver door? Something very special. Are we going to, you know, get to see that? I hope so. No, you can't. You shouldn't be in here. That's the ladies' room. I need to know, why don't you eat? Why do you care? I take my work very seriously and you're not eating. And that wounds me. <laughs> that wounds him. <laughs> Who are you? I am Margo. You shouldn't be here tonight. Please get the f out of my way. He told her she should not be here tonight. 
basically, this is a mistake. What the hell's about to happen, man? What the hell's behind that door? Jeremy created the next dish. It's called The Mess. The Mess. Jeremy's goal, as he wrote in a heartfelt letter, was to work for me here at Hawthorne. None of the workers smile. They are so serious. He's very good. But he's not great. He'll never be great. Dang. Do you like this life? This life that you dreamed about? <laughs> no, Chef. Mm -hmm. And do you want my life? He's about to, like, cry. He's making him feel horrible. No, Chef. I feel bad for Jeremy. Jeremy's the mess. All right, what is it? I didn't see that coming. What the hell? Tyler's okay with it. What the heck? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Part of the menu. Please. It's... That's a stunt? What is, what, what is that? This is an exclusive experience, please. This is what they're paying for. The hell did these people get themselves into? Nah, man, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. What the hell is this? Why did he do that? This is, it this really? is what he does. Yeah, this is what he does. It's part of the menu. Uh, I don't want to eat no food. I don't want to sit at this table. I don't want to be on this island. I'm getting out. The mess. Pressure cooked vegetable and roasted fillet. Rest in peace, Jeremy. Bone marrow. Tyler, what the hell is going on? And here we have a biodynamic. Tyler's just okay with this? How do you get off this island and tell people what you saw? There is no boat to leave on. Then I'll call a helicopter. That would be very difficult Damn. without phone service. Do what they say. No, I can, take... I can. Oh. That's for sure security. With which hand, Mr. Liebrand? What? With which hand will you handle this, left or right? What? What does that mean? Shall we choose? Choose what? Choose what? Very well, left hand. Left hand? Ring finger. Ring finger? Oh, they're gonna take his finger. No! What is going on? Yo, 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 relax! 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 Don't do it. God! people get themselves into they took his ring finger and Tyler is still eating what the heck am I watching yo yes genre is horror but I did but I was not expecting something like this it's all part of the menu all part of the menu the acting is astonishing what the f are you talking about you think this is an act you just cut this man's finger off and some other dude just blew his brains out this guest list this entire evening has been painstakingly planned, and you were not a part of that plan. And it's spoiling everything. In order to proceed, I have to know where to seat you. With us, or with them. What? And then you'll let me live? That you live? No. Of course not. What? We're all gonna die tonight. What? Isn't that right? Yes, sir! The question is, do you want to die with those who give or with those who take? Please pick. These decisions are important. Oh my god, you do what? What am I watching? It's our side or theirs. In the meantime, please return to your seat. The next dish is exquisite. You die either way. She really doesn't have a choice. I love you all. We love you too, Chef! Okay, these people have got to be brainwashed. Why do you get a kitchen, of course? I smoke all day, can't even taste it. Dude, Tyler is a dick. Come on, let's focus. What's the play here? I won't lie. I was thinking that, you know, the chef was, you know, cannibalistic. Oh, he's running right. <laughs> nice try, dude. Nice try. <laughs> Please let me help you back to your table. <laughs> yeah, this movie's insane. Any questions? <clears throat> is this bergamot I'm getting, Chef? Yes, it is. <laughs> Freaking Tyler. 
Think of yourselves as ingredients in a degustation concept. What? A tasting concept, <laughs> figuratively speaking. <laughs> I think that is the best way to describe it. Miss Bloom knows the damage she has done to so many livelihoods. No, 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 no. How, ha, hang no. on. Sh no, 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 you don't talk. How many times have you eaten here in the last five years? I don't know. So they've eaten here plenty of times and have lived to tell the story. Mr. Liebrand, kindly name one dish you ate the last time you were here. Eleven times you take the boat out here. He doesn't remember a single dish? Please tell me one dish you ate the last time you were here. One, please. What, was he drugged? He doesn't remember? Cod. It wasn't cod, you donkey. <laughs> it was halibut. And I've been fooled in trying to satisfy people who can never be satisfied. That's our culture, isn't it? And my restaurant is part of the problem. Wow. I would have to say that Doug Verrick owns me, except now things are a little more complicated, and I own Doug Verrick. What? That's Doug? Man, just, just don't kill this guy. He would even... Request substitutions, despite the fact that there are no substitutions at Hawthorn! Fallen Angel, please. Fallen Angel? What? Oh. What's in the water? What's in the water? What's in the water? Oh, he's going in the water. What's in the water? And... And... Oh, he just... They just drowned him? Mr. Liebrand, how do you know him? You've been eyeing him all evening. Oh, I think you know. No, I don't. He's trying to read her like a book. What rattled me is that he told me to tell him that he was a good man and that I was his daughter and that he loved me and I loved him. So and... he's a romantic. Wow. No, I don't need details. I, mean, I, I know what a bad customer is. And all these people that he's serving to are bad customers. I haven't desired to cook for someone in ages. And one does miss that feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, for our next course, let us take the evening air. Come on, outside. Please. Come on, sir. Outside, everyone. This is your chance to run away. Run away. As soon as you get out the door. Can I believe all these workers are okay with what's going on? Julian Slowick tried to f me. I refused. But he didn't fire me. No. He kept me in his kitchen and refused to look me in the eye or speak directly to me for eight months. Wow. Our next course is called Man's Folly. <laughs> oh. 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 Where's she stab him at? Oh, in the leg. This is one weird ass island. To our male diners, you'll be given a 45 second head start, at which point members of my staff will try and catch you. If they do catch- ah! <laughs> Run! Holy shit. What? Sorry. Come on, you know I'm a wonderful, awful. wonderful critic. Run! Tyler, run! Oh my god, Tyler. Tyler, run. You too. Run, Tyler. It's literally a manhunt in 45 seconds. Go! How fast are they? Man, I would be booking it. Man's folly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how you eat after what has just happened. This is fantastic. The tartness of the umeboshi and the, the waves of ferment. It's, it's rich and yet it's clean. It's delicious. There was a time that would have meant a lot to me, Miss Bloom. It's so good. It's really it's, good. You know, it's it's the emoji for me. It's the emoji for her. <laughs> you know my husband. 
<laughs> They're literally jogging to get that guy. <laughs> I do. Right. Are we all really dying tonight? Wow. It doesn't work if you live. The menu. It needs an ending that ties everything together conceptually. The menu is the script of the night. <laughs> the, the dying thing. Oh, everyone dying was my pitch, actually. Super proud of it. Wow. Anybody want any wine? Yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. We all going out. Might as well drink. Tyler. Heart of pop. Oh. Damn. This man is hiding in a chicken coop. A special bite for the last guest to be caught. Wait, they all got caught? He's the last one? You guys suck, man. How'd you do out there? I did great. <laughs> I'm the only one who got away. This man pulled I'm a sorry. hamstring. I'm sorry. Pulled his hamstring. It's okay. I've been stealing money from you. There's no point in lying. They're all gonna die. You might as well tell the truth now. Or forever hold your peace. Now continue as planned until we deal with an unresolved matter. Tell me why you're here. He's the one that actually wants to be here. I wanted to experience your food, chef. And what were you told? It'd be the greatest menu ever created. Right, and? And? And that everyone would die. Everyone would die. You had a date. He knew? You brought Margot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, putting her in danger. That's just because you don't offer scenes for one. So you hired her knowing Except for she'd die. Okay. Wow. Wow, Tyler. I don't need that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're a cook. Oh, Chef has something cooked up for him. Come with me. Tyler is about to die. Tyler. Now cook. Now cook. I don't cook. Please rise to observe Everyone, the demonstration. Demonstration? He doesn't know how to cook. Shallots. Shallots for the great foodie, the phenomenal Mr. Food himself. He's nervous, being put on the spot. Oh. All eyes on Tyler. Man, if it was me, I'd start grilling a burger. <laughs> Ew, it does not look good. Oh, hell no. He's gonna spit that out. It's actually quite bad. Yeah, 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 see. Uh, Tyler's bullshit. <laughs> you are why the mystery has been drained from our art. I wonder what he's saying to me. He's probably telling him the same stuff he told Jeremy, right? He's probably telling him the same stuff. Man, what did he tell him? Dessert requires a large barrel that is supposed to be there in the corner. Margo, you will fetch the barrel instead. Me? Wow, Elsa made a mistake? Give her the smokehouse key. Yes, chef. Elsa doesn't like that. Go. Oh no! Oh no! Tyler himself. What did he tell him? What did he say to him? Oh my god, yo. That is wild. Man, I didn't hear a single thing about this movie. And. You know, watching it, I'm just in total shock that no one has said anything about this movie to me. Do you want to know why you're being punished? I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. But look, I, I, I didn't direct it, I just acted in it. The memory of your face in that film, seeing you again now, oh. haunts me. This man knows how to tear down people with his words. 
The chef's house. No one is allowed inside chef's house. Do you think you're special? Oh, gotta fight. Uh, trust me, I have no- oh! <laughs> Girl, pull out that knife. Oh! He didn't oh. tell me. Tell us about the knife. About the barrel. I didn't forget. Of all places, she gets stabbed. Ugh. It's him. Employee of the month. He looks so happy in that pic. Now he's just miserable. Hello? Send the National Guard. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to like wonder where Elsa is. As Dr. King said, we know through painful experience that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Did he just quote Martin Luther King? Yep. Yes, he did. <laughs> I figured that's, I knew those, those words sounded way too familiar. I see you found our radio. Clear the dining room immediately. It worked! Oh, oh, easy, oh, easy, oh, oh. Man. Bro, easy. oh, now they're trying to care for the customers now? They trying to cover it up. Ask yourselves two things. One, if you really want to be responsible for the death of an innocent man. And two, ask yourselves, why didn't you all try harder to fight back? Yeah, why didn't they? Come on, look around, look around. Did look anybody around. here call in at the stress over the shortwave tonight? Look at this guy's face. Uh, are you? Yes, 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 I, I am. He's the movie star. I I'm a big fan. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like his autograph? Yes, 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 yes. Give him an autograph and then write help, write help. 911. Paul, you do, man. Time. Well, thank you for your service. Just keep walking. Keep walking and radio for more help. Hands on your head, oh. everyone. Oh my God. On your knees with your hands over your head now. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be this easy, guys. Call for help. Call for help. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? He's not a real Coast Guard. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Oh! No! No! Come on, dude! So in a kitchen, we all work together and nothing works at all. We work as a team. Oh my god, I feel for them. I feel... I feel for them. You... You've betrayed our sacred bond of trust. And you've shown your craft to be careless. Final course, plating in five. Yes, man, I feel for them. That hurts. That hurts. And his mom has just been sitting there drinking, just okay with, with what's going on. She's got an idea. What you thinking, Margo? Margo taking control? I said I don't like your food, and I would like to send it back. She's, she just pissed him off, didn't she? When I eat your food, it tastes like it was made with no love. Oh, this is ridiculous. We always cook with love, don't we? No, chef! Come on, chef. I thought tonight was a night of hard home truths. This is one of them. You cook with obsession, not love. Mm-hmm. Even your hot dishes are cold. Ooh. Your single purpose on this earth is to serve people food that they might actually like, and you have failed. Wow. You failed, and you've bored me. Whoa. The worst part is, I'm still
I'm hungry. <laughs> You're still hungry? Yes, I am. Time to cook. You know what I'd really like? Tell me. A cheeseburger. Ooh, I was thinking that too. I love cheeseburgers. Not some fancy deconstructed avant bullshit, a real cheeseburger. Make it nasty. I'll make you feel as if you're eating the first cheeseburger you ever ate. Oh, that would probably the taste so The cheap one good. your parents could barely afford. Oh my god, I'm so Show hungry me. right now. How do you like it? Medium. American cheese. Oh my god, same here. Yeah. After watching this movie, I am for sure going to go eat a very juicy cheeseburger. That cheeseburger looks so good. Oh, it's a double cheeseburger! Oh my god, it's a double cheeseburger. I think the reason why she chose a cheeseburger is from that photo. Where he was employee of the month, he was cooking a burger. This feels like an A24 film. Oh my god, that looks so good. Man, if I was... Sitting at the other table, I'd be like, yo, get me one, please. How's that? That's good. It's delicious. It's a cheeseburger. That is a cheeseburger. That smile is like the best appreciation. Unfortunately, I think my eyes were a little bigger than my stomach. What? Can I get the rest to go? What? He's gonna let her go. One moment, please. Supplemental course of the cheeseburger. Just a cheeseburger <laughs> I'll say it again I love how they put the words the description of the food absolutely perfect one cheeseburger to go and a gift bag thank you for dining at Hawthorne she gets to leave and everyone else has to die go get help get off the island and go get help Thank you for dining with us tonight. You represent the ruin of my art and my life. And now you get to be a part of it. Part of what I hope is my masterpiece. What is going on? Ooh, that sound. What's going to happen to them? Why is no one like trying to leave? Like run. Just and open. now our final dessert course is a playful twist on the comfort food classic. S'mores. We must embrace the flame. Oh, I know his hand is on fire. For heretics, we can be subsumed. This feels like hereditary. I love you all. We love you, Chef! Oh my god. Why are they all just sitting there? Just taking it! Oh my god! Oh my god! God, they're just sitting there. No one even tried to get up and run. They put the detail. Customer staff restaurant, graham cracker, marshmallow. They put that in detail. Oh my god, yo, this ending is this ending is so unexpected. This director, this writer, produced by Adam McKay, you people are something else, man. <laughs> the same feeling I'm having right now is the same feeling I had after watching Midsummer and Hereditary. This feels like an A24 film, but it's a surprisingly good Searchlight film. The best way to watch this movie is to go in blind. All right, the menu. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction because I enjoyed watching this film for the very first time. I'm eager to know your guys' thoughts on the menu. Share that down below in the comment section. To start off this review, I will say this. 
Ray Fiennes does a phenomenal job as the bad guy in here, the villain in here. And I gotta say, I know that we are in 2023, but looking back at 2022, I would have to say that he is top tier villain of the year of 2022. Put him up there in the ranks for top tier villain because he is great in this. I mean, wow, man. I experienced so many emotions. I could list so many. I mean, you guys saw my reaction. I went through quite a lot. But wow, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, I didn't watch a single trailer, didn't see a single TV spot. I don't even think I saw the trailer in the theater for as many times that I have went to go see movies <laughs> in the year of 2022. I don't think I once saw a preview for this film. I heard about it. I didn't read a single review. I didn't watch a single YouTube review. I went into this movie blind, knowing only that it was a horror film slash thriller um, with a little bit of comedy and that Ray Fiennes, Nicholas Holt, and Anya Taylor-Joy were starring in this. That's all that I knew about this film. And I am pleasantly shocked by it, but I enjoyed it. I reeled it in and I had a blast with this. I mean, I told you guys, I felt the vibes of Hereditary, which is a great film. That's on HBO Max now. I think they just added it on the streaming service. But not only Hereditary, I felt Midsommar 2 as well. That's a great film. Um, just how I felt about those films, I felt it here. If you saw this movie playing on TV, you would think, wow, this must be another new A24 film. No, this is Searchlight. This is Searchlight all together and they hit with this. They hit with this. Um, I was very, very shocked, man. Oh my God. I could not believe where this story was going. Um, at first, I thought this was going to dive into like, you know, some cannibalistic stuff going on that, you know, the chef is feeding these people food and then, you know, the plot twist is that they're eating people that were just on the island or the people that they arrived on the island with. But no, no. Oh my God, a lot was going on in this movie. I mean, Rafe finds Julian is an evil, evil man that took it out on his customers. To me, his character felt like he was in despair, depressed, just, you know, at his lowest point and he wanted to go out with a bang by providing the best menu of all time, the best food of all time. And just to realize that the menu were the customers. And you see that at the end as they were cooked as a freaking s'more. Like, oh my God, a freaking s'more. And it's just crazy that Anya Taylor-Joy, um, Margo, was the only one to survive. And then Nicholas Holt, I did not expect his character to turn out like he did. A horrible human being. I mean, he lied to Margot after he broke up with his girlfriend or his girlfriend broke up with him. So he takes Margot out on this fancy, nice, expensive date to this island where <laughs> They were going to die. Like he knew that the people that arrived on this island were going to die. And he still brought her there. And then the chef, Julian, knew that. Knew what Tyler did. And so he made an example out of him. And Tyler thought this was going to go in such a good way. Uh, the guy was clearly obsessed with not only the food, but with the chef and what he was cooking, just the whole scenery and the island itself. The man was obsessed. I mean, he couldn't stop taking pictures of his food. I mean, when I'm hungry, I'm not taking any type of photo of my food. I'm already housing that down. But Tyler in this situation, man, was just a horrible human being that turned out to have bad luck in the end to the point that the chef was absolutely roasting the customers there, but Tyler got it the worst. And <laughs> to the point that he himself, that was shocking. Um, that was shocking 
I mean, he didn't deserve to go out that way, but he brought that on himself. <laughs> I just think, I just can't get it out of my mind. I mean, this movie is fresh in my head, and I'm rambling on. I'm jumping from point to point, but I just can't get it out of my mind how these characters just sat there and burned alive. Why not run? I mean, Julian said it. You guys could have escaped if you just would have tried harder. And when the males had the chance to run off the island, I was very shocked that not a single one of them made it off the island. Not even close. Wow, he gave them the shot. He didn't give the females the shot. He gave the males a shot. And they still could not get off the island. You could tell the despair, just them feeling lost at the end to the point where they just sat there and just took it. I mean, they threw their credit cards, uh, their debit cards on the table and just were like, they're done. They were done. I'm just like, wow. Wow, didn't say a single thing while Margot ate her cheeseburger. Just sat there and as she walked out the door, just let her go, didn't say a single word, just looked at her. And then allowed these employees to put a chocolate hat on their head, uh, put them in a marshmallow, <laughs> put marshmallows on them, and then decorate the floor, and then burn that floor, therefore burning the whole place and everyone in it. And just to sit there and take it is absolutely shocking, man. That is why I had such a strong feeling, like the ending felt like a little bit of hereditary. Um, just absolute loss. Nothing you can do, you just sit there and take it. You know what I'm saying? That is what I felt. But the actors were great in here. Anya Taylor-Joy is fantastic in here. She killed it in 2022. She was great in The Northman and she's great in here. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna be great as Princess Peach in Mario. But yeah, she, she was the one to make it out alive. Um, I actually thought that everyone would die at one point. I thought the chef would be mad at her for killing uh, Elsa. But I, but the chef never found out about that. I mean, she went into this man's house and you knew the consequences of that. But she fought hard, took out Elsa. I mean, Elsa gave me weird vibes the whole film. Was not hiding it at all. And that's something I gotta talk about. The employees never smiled. They were so serious, so serious. Why so serious? But let's talk about the first shocking moment. Jeremy absolutely taking himself. Oh my God, that was a big reaction for me. I did not see that coming. That set me, that set me off, man. I was just like so shocked. I was like, oh my God. I, I don't know what to think about this movie anymore. This is just out of the blue. I mean, I was not expecting that. I mean, the chef was absolutely tearing him down with his words to the point that this man took his life. And then he did the same thing to Tyler. And it was the same result. Absolute wild. And then they cut off the ring finger of Richard, who Richard was supposedly seeing Margot, <laughs> the sex worker. <laughs> just, just absolutely wild. And then his wife found out about it. And then it was crazy how they got tortillas and it was like photos of their lives, uh, tax records, of uh, Richard cheating, uh, pictures of Tyler on his tortilla. That was absolutely wild. I mean, the customers got exposed and the chef delivered his full on menu, his art, his masterpiece is what he was delivering literally to these customers. And it was crazy how his mother just sat off to the side and I feel like the actor said about like three or four words throughout this whole film. And she died too, um, unless she, died from drinking so much because throughout the whole film that's all she was doing sitting in the corner and drinking just wow and then the three guys uh, that were sitting at the table they were a circus they were a circus by far them bringing in the most laughs just seeing them uh, react to what was happening around them was just great the actors like like I said the actors did well but oh my God, the moment when Margot decided to call the police and you think it is the police and it's not, it was a fake Coast Guard. 
I mean, oh my god. And then mm, the movie star decides to do the smartest thing and reach out for help with a fake autograph. Such a smart idea for the movie star. It just didn't go as planned. I mean, <laughs> the guy was a fake Coast Guard. Totally shocked, man. I was like, yes! Yes, he's pointing the gun at him. That is the guy. I was like, yes, they're finally getting out. I was like, yes, point the gun at Julian. That is the guy you need to shoot at. And then for him to point the gun and it was just a lighter for that candle. Oh my God. I was just like, wow, they aren't getting out of this. They aren't getting out of this at all. But wow, that image, that lasting image of them burning alive is something I keep on thinking about. I just can't get that out of my mind. Like, they all died in flames as a s'more. Oh my God. I mean, jeez, the writers went off on this one. The director did a phenomenal job uh, with this and the way it's shot, the way it depicts the food on the screen. I mean, half the food that they ate, I would not eat because it wouldn't fill me up, but that cheeseburger scene was delicious absolutely delicious and i think that was so smart of margo to go do that given the fact in that photo in his house he was employee of the month cooking grilling a burger and that is what she asked for and it was a delicious burger and technically that right there is what saved her life it got him to think about his past life a good moment in his life and she just asked you know what can i get this to go and surprisingly, he said yes. I mean, wow, there's just so much to think about with this film. So much that happens. So many undertones um, laid out in this film. So much you can absolutely take a knife and peel back the layers of these characters. Especially with the chef, because he's got a lot going on. The chef clapping? Oh my god, that was annoying. That was annoying the whole time. It just kept going. It was... It, it was shocking at first, and then it kept going, and I was just like, oh my god, I can't take it. Maybe it was the headphones I had on, but it, the clap just was piercing to my ears every time. <laughs> but I really don't have that much criticism. I have a lot of, you know, positive feedback with this film. Uh, I don't really look for negative things in a film. Um, I can't really say anything that I did not like. Um, the ending was good for what it was. I really surprisingly don't have anything bad to say about this film. I can say another positive, which is I love how this film details, puts the details on the screen of what the customers, of what these characters are about to eat, of what the course is going to consist of. That was really, really cool. And then they had fun with it uh, by delivering with comedic bits of you know, making fun of the situation at hand, such as Tyler trying to cook. And the detail was, <laughs> the detail was absolute trash. I mean, wow. And then the last detail was, you know, just a regular old cheeseburger. I mean, I'm still thinking about that cheeseburger. I'm still thinking about them being cooked as a s'more. It's making me hungry. It's making me hungry. But yeah, this is going to conclude my review of the menu. I would give this a 4 out of 5 star. This is a good 2022 film. And I wish I was hip earlier to it, but good thing I wasn't because I was able to give you guys yet another movie reaction. But yeah, this is going to conclude not only this reaction to the menu, but this review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review and my reaction. Uh... Plenty of highlighted moments are throughout that reaction, so I really, really hope you guys devoured it. Pun intended. <laughs> but like this video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. I truly appreciate you guys reeling in this movie reaction. Plenty more movie reactions are on the channel, so be sure to check those out. Uh, Wednesday reactions are up currently on the channel, so definitely show love to that. But this is it. Um, I'm eager to hear your guys' thoughts on this movie. I'm eager to talk with you guys in the comments. Uh, share your opinions on the film. Was there anything that I missed? Share in the comments down below. I'm eager to pick your guys' brains. I'm eager for you guys to pick my brains down in the comments. So I'll see you guys then. This is Realidin Reactions. 
I'm really than Miles. This concludes the movie reaction for the menu. Now I'm going to go grab a cheeseburger real fast. So I'll catch you guys in the next movie reaction. Peace. Y'all thought I was lying? I told you this movie made me want to go out and go grab a cheeseburger. A delicious one from Five Guys. If you haven't tried Five Guys, you're missing out. Anya Taylor Joy, I'm with you. I'm so with you. But like I said, like this video and subscribe. Gotta do that too. If that movie didn't make you wanna go grab a cheeseburger, hopefully me eating a cheeseburger in front of you makes you wanna go, you know, buy yourself a cheeseburger or cook you one up and eat one because I'm melting in my seat right now. God! I mean, that scene with Margot eating that cheeseburger, it just looks so good. I couldn't resist. I, I, I just had to go get myself my very own cheeseburger. I'm sorry. That's wild. You stayed to the end of this video to watch me eat a cheeseburger. That's crazy. I don't blame you. This looks delicious because it is delicious. This is like one of those Marvel after credit scenes. Well, this is it, but it's a scene of me eating a cheeseburger. I told you what I was going to do. <laughs> Go get yourself a cheeseburger. Go reel it in. <sighs> Thanks for watching.